look at the video about setting up flags and this is a flagged email message that we sent notice here from Jeff Lush at msn.com we use this key phrase in here OT2 so that it automatically when it comes into the technology milestones box automatically it puts a flag on it sticks it in the flagged folder for so view the other video on that but it's important when we talk about planner because with planner it's going to automatically create those tasks within planner now you can see here right here free tv shows and we can see that that task was created within our planner so now we can assign this task and start it and do whatever it is that we want to do with it in addition we have other automation showing here that that task was also copied and it's to it this literally just happened i was waiting for it so let's just give it a minute i was waiting for it to happen and the reason why we copy it to OneNote is this look at this we have no other detail in here and when you look at the email itself there's there's lots of detail in there right so where is that detail well there's ways to get it over there, but but let's just say that it's not going to go over there. Well, I want to make sure I don't miss any of that details, any of those details. So I could always just keep these in my flag folder, right? And I might do that, but I always like to have a second backup plan. And so this is my second backup plan. Notice here now I have all those emails, all the data that was in that email is right here inside of OneNote. So I keep it. And I use this unique identifier right here to um, be able to search for information. So if I see a task, for example, in Planner, and I need more detail, see, there's that unique identifier. And then I can go over and just search for that unique identifier in OneNote, for example, because OneNote's got a great way to search for things. And bada bing, it pulls it up. So this is the unique identifier dash and the time. So this is date, day, month, year, dash time. Very, very simple way to do it, but it works exceptionally well. And it's easy for me to remember. So let's go back to Planner. So Planner, how did this get here? Well, we used a program called Power Automate. And you can see here, we were waiting for it. And it just, it ran here three minutes ago. So it takes sometimes up to an hour for it to run again so you have to be patient with it but what is this flow and what is it doing let's go ahead and just hit edit and look at what the flow is the first thing it's doing is it's going to a folder and the 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 logic here is it looks for any message that is flagged well remember we have a flag right here in the flagged folder so we move it into the flagged folder and we're checking for flagged emails in this folder that's easy. My profile, we don't really mess with that because we've already, we already are established. And here we create the task. So here we have general tasks. When we go over to planner, here's general tasks right here. That's pretty easy. And then I don't mess with that, but where do we want to put it? What bucket? Well, inside a planner, there are multiple buckets. So you can see here general tasks, which is a plan, which we'll talk about in a moment, to do miscellaneous, Maxwell, uh, personal TM so those are all tasks within this planner group right within this plan called general tasks and what the automation does for us is it says oh okay I'm gonna take anything that's flagged I'm gonna move it over the general tasks into the to-do folder and it works like clockwork every single time so how do we make information more actionable we put it into tasks where we can track it. Now, once it's in here, I can move this anywhere that I want. I can add different things here. So what's my checklist that I'm gonna do, right? And I can follow up on it. I can also um, state, put a status in here. I can say when I'm gonna start it or when it's due. Let's say it becomes due today. And then I can take and tag it as well, which we'll talk about in another video. We can also see the task right here on our Android this is, or Apple device. This happens to be the planner. Now we can find that task here under do today free TV shows right there. As we click on it, we can add more information, add comments if we like. 
So that works out pretty well. We can add attachments. Again, the unique identifier follows it. And then see here, we have these two items here, these checklists that we did. So this is a very robust way to look at tasks. So far, we've talked about transferring those tasks automatically from Outlook into Planner using Power Automate. And then we can, of course, access that information on our cell phone or on our desktop. Tune into other videos about a lot more detail related to how to use Planner and get the most out of this tool.